Hello and aloha. Today, I'll be sharing with you another recipe that I remember growing up with in Hawaii. Crispy wontons or gauji. I'll be showing you some tips and tricks on how to make these. So, let's get started. Here are the ingredients that you'll be needing. Let's start off with the wonton filling. We'll prep all the ingredients first. Cut off a quarter inch from the ginger root and carefully take off the ginger skin by cutting it closely to the edge. Grate the ginger or finely chop it up. Using one clove of garlic, pound it with the side of the knife to loosen its skin. Finely chop it up. Cut up about five stalks of green onions. Then cut up about one fourth cup of parsley. Open one can of water chestnuts. Drain the water and finely chop it up. I use a hand chopper for this part. Now add in all of the ingredients to one pound of ground pork. Add in oyster sauce, shoyu or soy sauce, green onions, chopped parsley, garlic, ginger, cornstarch to help soak in the moisture from the pork to prevent it from becoming too soggy salt, and water chestnuts. Mix all the ingredients together. Your filling is now ready for wrapping. I'll show you three ways to fold your wonton. First is the basic or easy one, the rectangle. Hold one sheet in your hand and using a butter knife, Scoop out a generous amount of the filling and place it in the center of the wrap. Wet the edges lightly so that when you fry the wonton, it won't cause a huge splatter. Fold the edges together and make sure there is no air in it. And that's it to folding a wonton. Be sure not to overstuff a wonton because when you fold it, the filling will start to pop out. You can fix it by using the butter knife to shove it back into the wrap. If you are running low on the meat filling, use this type of folding. Like before, form it into the rectangle. Make sure there is no air in the wrap. Turn the closed edge towards yourself. You'll bring one corner to the other side. Wet one corner, and then bring it together. This makes it look like there is a lot of meat in the wonton, but there really isn't. The other method is the triangle. Same thing as before, but this time, fold one edge diagonally across to make it a triangle. Pour oil in a medium-sized pot. Heat it over medium heat. Carefully add in the wontons and let it cook each side for about two to three minutes or until it looks golden brown. Take it out and place it on a plate lined with paper towel. Serve it as an appetizer or as a side dish. Enjoy! If you want to see more local grinds, please subscribe. Mahalo!